somebody's going to win a great motor and there's there's a lot of love put into it and it's perfect timing man uh tis the season for some nitrous Dude, can you believe third episode now, Engine Room TV? We haven't blown anything up yet. Yeah, that's a good thing. <laughs> There's always today. There's always today. Hey, listen, before we even get started, let's do a quick recap. I know in, in episode one, you know, we talked about the, the founding blocks, the, the, the foundation, literally the engine block, uh, and, uh, and some of the lower end parts. Do, do a quick recap on us from, from uh, series one, if you would. All right, yeah, so starting from the bottom up, basically choosing the uh, world products block for a good solid foundation, stuffed it with good parts, um, Eagle Crank, H-beam rods, DSS's FX3 series pistons, gas ported, heavy wall pins, moving on up, basically Cometic layered steel head gaskets and uh, AFR heads. We had to clamp this together, get a good clamp load on that gasket, use a high quality fastener from ARP, and then, of course, uh, comp cams furnishing the camshaft and lifters. And uh, uh, don't forget Canton on the oil pan. And then uh, the Scorpion rockers. So at that point, now we started talking, I know, last week about, um, about manifolds. You were, you know, port matching and things like that. And then you've taken it to the next level. Can you talk a little bit more about that for us? Well, primarily when we were approached to do this giveaway for Holly was, to choose a, a good solid base foundation motor wise. So the 427 small block Ford making 600 horsepower. And I wanted to enhance the base motor package a little bit. So that's what led us to the manifold. So we showed you, I guess, a bit of the port matching. They leave it small, which is nice. So we can match it up with any cylinder head that we choose to use. Um, but more so the reason I chose it was for the line of sight to the valve and a bigger plenum area. So when I meant, you know, uh, enhancing the base combination, was really the base power, um, you know, trying to get it up past that 600 level. So we got a solid, you know, NA or naturally aspirated power level before we smack it with the nitrous. So that's where the guys over at Holly come in, right? I know you're real excited to have the, the system on there. And you told us in a past episode that it gives you a whole bunch of control in, in the way you can, you know, kind of manipulate it and put it all together. And obviously that's where we are now with the engine sitting on the dyno. Kind of give us the, the background on that. Yeah, so basically, whew, if people have been watching us, we use nothing but Holly. Uh, couldn't speak high, more highly of uh, their system and the control and functionality of everything. So, of course, this is a nitrous motor, so we need to control nitrous uh, just as much as the fuel management system. So, um, using their Terminator X, Holly HP, or the Dominator, this one happens to be the Terminator X, uh, we have full control over the timing over the fuel delivery and the nitrous system. So why fuel injection instead of a carburetor? Mm, that's a good question. You know you're going to stir up some stuff with that, right? <laughs> right. <laughs> well, nowadays, obviously, everything's kind of going fuel injection. But for those of you that are hardcore carburetor guys, you understand a carburetor in and out, and that's what you're comfortable with. Um, my suggestion to a lot of potential customers, guys that are in queue, is I would still choose the Terminator X from Holly. Basically, you can squirt the fuel in with the carburetor, but let's control it with the Holly system. And the reason I say that is if it, we had a carbureted engine that is nitrous fed, we're going to have to have uh, a pretty expensive ignition box. Um, we're going to have to have something that removes the timing when we're on nitrous. So that way we don't have to just adjust the timing statically and lose all the power until we're on the nitrous. And we also need uh, something to control the nitrous, such as uh, progressive control in most cases. So the Holly is going to provide all of those functions in one simple box at a very, very good price and you could still squirt the fuel in with a carburetor if you want. Uh, obviously, if a, a buddy of yours or whatever talks you into going to fuel injection in the future, bam, it's all there. You already have it. 
before we even got started today, Doug, you mentioned that there's a, one of the, the trainers over at Holly, the, the guy who he's kind of like their king dingling, knows everything about it. He's got a great saying about nitrous. Tell us about that. Yeah, basically, uh, quoting him is that nitrous doesn't blow up engines. People do. <laughs> I love that, man. I love that. And it's perfect. I've got, it's not a nitrous story, but I've got a, a true story. I had, um, uh, had a turbocharged car years ago. And when I sold it, we had just dyno tuned the thing and it has, it was running perfectly. Right. Well, I sold it to a guy who flew to my place from Washington, DC, got in the car and I told him I handed the dyno sheets. I'm like, look, don't mess with it. The car's running great. He's okay. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Sure, 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 sure. He didn't get to Virginia. He was barely a few hours down the road before he had, sure enough, he messed with the controller, cranked up the boot and he blew up the engine. It wasn't the engine's fault. It wasn't the tuning fault. It wasn't the turbo's fault. It was the nut that was pushing the buttons. <laughs> Couldn't be more true. I bet you see stuff like that all the time, don't you? Oh, God, yeah. <laughs> Not to say that's a regular thing, and that's what we try to do is educate guys before that happens, but certainly we've, we've seen some our fair share of stuff. Well, let's, again, let's go to the point here where, where we're having the pros do it. That's why you guys are doing this. That's why you're building it. And that's one of the things that you've been really good at through this entire web series is showing us the right way to do things. So what is the next right step as we're sitting there with that engine in the dyno? So one of the things to, to kind of keep in the back of your mind is some people say that uh, rich is safe. And I'm not going to deny that statement, but... We baseline every engine just like we did this one. We baseline it and we see what kind of maximum power at what air fuel ratio and timing. And so typically whatever the engine likes naturally aspirated for, for air fuel ratio, you're gonna find that it pretty much is gonna like the same thing on the nitrogen. So I guess what I'm saying is the, the statement of uh, rich is safe. That does apply, but we could be leaving some on the table. Well, isn't that the thing, right? If, if I understand it correctly, the, 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 the real power is made as you, well, you start to lean it out, but you don't want to go too far. Yeah, lean is mean, right. But that being said, you know, when it's too rich, what can happen is if you get a, a certain amount of nitrous between, caught between the rings, uh, your top and uh, first and second ring, and there's some fuel in there, if it ignites in there, you could have this situation where you're overly rich because you think it's safe but that fuel got in between the rings with a little bit of the nitrous and boom if it ignites in there that's how you lift the ring lanes off top the piston so that's why i kind of say that rich isn't always necessarily the safest thing so the other day you got a baseline on this thing and how did it do great actually so um that manifold with a, a small port matching uh, that you guys seen this is a tried and proven combination for us at 600 horsepower. And this thing belted out about 630 to 635 horsepower with the addition of the Holly manifold before we ever even sprayed it. So very, very happy with that outcome. So really truthfully, it's not about the end number. It's about tuning. It's about getting a baseline and then you tune from there. Right, right. Really to figure out what's safe, you know, the engine dyno, gives you um, the ability to basically fine tune that combination versus uh, being on a chassis dyno, for instance, not that you can't there, chassis dyno is a great tool as well. Um, but if you're gonna do some steady state testing, uh, certain, only certain chassis dynos will allow you to do that. So we, we could actually say purposely put this engine in detonation to know what is the, the peak amount of timing we can run, things of that nature. And your, your throttle handle can be pulled back almost immediately. Uh, whereas most chassis dynos, you know, you got to make a whole run. So if you, you add a degree or two of timing, it may be a degree or two too much, but you won't know until the, the pull is complete. So we're going to light this candle or what? Yeah, absolutely. So what we'll do is we'll go in there, we'll basically do a baseline hit, naturally aspirated. And then we can go ahead and make a, a nitrous pull uh, for you as well.
Well, okay, over 630 horsepower baseline run. That's impressive. Now we're going to add some spray to it. And Doug, I know you've got the, the, the super Holly controller right there. Can you kind of show us how that works and how you're able to, to manipulate things on that? All right, so we'll just show you a little bit about what our setup is uh, today for this particular motor. It's going to be a dry, progressive shot. We're going to trigger it at 85% throttle. It'll run from 5,000 to 7,500. Our lean and rich cutoffs are 14 and a half to one and 11 to one. So it gets out of those parameters, it will shut down. And then one of the cool things that we don't, you know, we're not using in the dyno here is this pedaling control. So um, this would be like no pedal control whatsoever, or we have a paused enabled or a programmable reset. So this pause enable, if we were to come down here and look at our progressive control, as we're running up in the nitrous, if we break the tires loose, say right here, do when we get back in the throttle, do we want it to come back on hard and run out or do we want it to reset down here? So that's kind of a really neat feature. I, I dig it, man. That's really cool. That's real world stuff. And, and again, like you pointed out, the guys at Holly, they've already thought about that and it's already there. It, it's really safe as well. Like it's, it's a safety thing. So you can get not only is the car fast and grip the track, but you don't, you know, lose, lose control of it. So, um, you know, we're going to keep it safe on timing here. We're going to pull four degrees to start with and end up with a full nine degrees pulled out of our base uh, timing. Um, and then you can see the progression of our control of nitrous here and how much fuel uh, for added enrichment. So this is the parameters we're going to run today. So we'll go ahead and make a hit. I'm stoked, man. I'm I, literally, we've been waiting for three episodes for this. Now we've put this engine together. We finally got it on the dyno with nitrous. We're ready to give it a go. That is awesome. We didn't blow it up. Are you breathing a sigh of relief now or were you super confident all along? Come on, be honest with me. Uh, every time you get behind the button or a heavy high horsepower piece, yeah, you, you, you pucker up a little bit. Have you ever, you ever done one? You ever blown one up? It you really play? sucks to blow one up. But what really sucks more is the cleanup. <laughs> Yeah, I imagine a ventilated block and all the associated fluids and pieces go everywhere, huh? What a mess. Oh, yeah. Obviously, we're about to give this engine away, Doug. Now that we know this thing works, uh, it kind of sounds crazy, but how did this thing even come uh, come together in the first place? I mean, you guys just, you, you and the Holly guys sitting around over a beverage and, you know, write a note down on a, on a napkin or something? <laughs> Pretty close. Um... You know, it all kind of came about, we've been doing a lot of giveaways with them and working with them uh, very, very closely. So uh, I was actually on business down in Daytona and uh, was speaking with one of the Holly, Holly reps and said, you know, what do we want to do for the next giveaway? And you know, I was just thinking Fords, you know, let's push the Ford product and uh, we got a solid 600 motor. So let's spray it with 400 shot and make a thousand. And well, that's kind of how it, how it all started, I guess. So here we are. That's awesome, man. I mean, obviously the guys at Holly are thrilled by this one and, uh, and we want you to win this engine. If you have not done it yet, get yourself signed up. Your time is running out. It's holly.com forward slash win. All right. So holly.com slash win. That's all you need to do. Click on over there, get yourself in the running. And uh, as you have seen, <laughs> this thing is making a gob ton of power. It's been put together with all the right parts. The right guys have been doing all the work on this thing, and it is ready to go into your project car. But you've got to get yourself in to win. All right, again, holly.com slash win. Um, Doug, before we get you out of here, can you tell us about the guys really quick? I mean, any shout outs to the guys in the shop there that helped put this all together? Uh, it takes a great group of individuals, smart individuals to do this, and it takes great companies. So can't thank the companies enough that got on board, World Products, Eagle, BSS, ARP, Comp Cams, Scorpion, AFR, and of course, Holly. I can't 
push their product enough. Phenomenal programming, phenomenal EFI systems, and just an overall great company to deal with. So once again, somebody's going to win a great motor, and there's there's a lot of love put into it, and it's perfect timing, man. Uh, Tis the season for some nitrous. <laughs> right on. Absolutely. Well, uh, Santa Horsepower is hooking you guys up again. Holly.com slash win. Holly.com slash win. And this engine valued at almost $21,000 can be yours. Thanks to everybody for uh, being a part of it. Thanks to, uh, again, the guys over at Prestige Motorsports. And thanks to you for tuning in to Engine Room TV.